This video is brought to you by our trusted graphics partner, NVIDIA. Welcome to my Battlefield 3 benchmarking guide, where it will be hosted by... not me. Slick hosts these, so you guys will be going along with him on a little run-through. So we're not doing any performance results in this one, so the rig he's using is his personal rig, which is a 2600K and a 660 Ti. Actually, it's not this 660 Ti, it's some completely different one, so don't worry too much about that. But whatever frame rates you guys see, those are on random settings, we're not really standardizing anything, so don't worry too much about it. But he's also going to explain what happened with some frame rate dips that occur due to save games. So what we're showing you guys is the two minute run through that we use at various settings, usually on, I believe it's extreme preset or ultra preset or whatever the very highest one is, because Battlefield runs pretty darn well, it's ultra. And so it's a two minute run through the comrades level in a specific way. So you'll get all the tips you need for how to run the benchmark exactly the way we do. So you can easily compare against all the graphics cards that we're testing, as well as comparing your rig against what we've got over here. All right, so after that really long cinematic, what we're gonna do is just run up to this waypoint here and cut the wires inside the room. Um, you wanna just start the benchmark right when you start running. Um, so the second you start running away from the car is when you start the benchmark. You just cut the wires right here. You'll notice a little bit of a frame dip right there, right when it started saving. That's mainly because I'm recording with fraps at the same time. Usually it doesn't really feel that at all. Right here, I just walk behind uh, Vladimir here. I think his name's Vladimir. And then the other guy kind of skirts around the left side. Wait for him to get a little bit in front of me and then I'll start running as well. I just don't want to actually run into anyone to make inconsistencies. I'm just going to take these guys out here. Oh, apparently he didn't die. There we go, taking him out. Now we're going to skirt around the right side of these pillars. Just inconsistent again. And then what you're mainly going to do here is just fight. Take everybody out. Um, this part can get a little bit hectic, but if you run it a few times, there is a bit of a rhythm to it. Uh, the enemies come out, like the, the guys that came out of the stairs right there will come out from the stairs at the exact same time every time. Different people behind different pillars might slightly change, but the fight is generally similar. Stuff like that guy over there can be anomalies. He's not usually running there, but just make sure you take everyone out. You'll notice the saving point when everyone dies and then wait for them to get on each side of the door and then run through. Why that bike was there, I have no idea, but it's not really a big deal. Um, follow them down here. Then you'll notice three enemies coming up from the right side. Just fit yourself in between these two cars and take them out. The lights are really annoying, um, but they go in the same three fixed positions every time, so it's not really that big of a deal. Again, there's a little bit of a frame dip there, but that's mainly because I'm recording with fraps at the same time and it went for a save. Just to make timing of the benchmarks consistent, at the very end, shoot these windows out. You don't want to run much further down because there's a rocket that'll come out and hit that pillar and that will make your benchmark inconsistent. So just sit up here and shoot the windows and then you're done. Thanks for watching guys. As always, don't forget to subscribe and like and do all those little things with the clicky mouse that is attached to the computer with the USB and all of that good stuff. And hey, we'd love for you guys to check out our forum. So there is a link in the description of the video where we have a thread where you guys can actually post your own results. Since you're all running the same standardized benchmark now, it's easy to compare and you don't have to worry about sort of optimization here or can benchmark there because everything here is running pretty much the same thing in a real world gaming environment. So, see you guys next time for more benchmarking guides and all that kind of good stuff, and I think I'm pretty much done here now.